So the Moja podcast is an interview-based podcast where we plan on bringing on professionals, experts, activists, business leaders, and culturally significant individuals to discuss topics that are pertinent to the global African community and especially to the youth. We plan on investigating historical and contemporary issues related to politics, economics, business, and culture with the goal of answering the following questions. How did we get here? Where are we going? What is our purpose as a generation? And what are the links between challenges faced by African communities globally? Africans on the continent, African Americans, Caribbeans, and all other Afro descendants together who form the global African community are the youngest and fastest growing population globally. Now, we're quite literally the future of this planet. And what we have to ask ourselves is what future do we want for us and for the world? L'homme africain n'est pas assez entré dans l'histoire. We're doing this because of all the lost history and stories of our people that have intentionally been omitted from our educational system and quite frankly aren't found in popular media. And also the miseducation of our people, the right. depoliticization of the youth today, the lack of intergenerational dialogue and knowledge transmission across generations, and also generally the decline of oral tradition, which has historically been so important to our cultures. We want to bring to light untold stories such as ancient Egypt and other African kingdoms and the role that they continue to play and impact in contemporary culture. We want to talk about the Haitian Revolution and other organized African resistance movements that play a key role in our liberation. We want to talk about the Tirailleurs, uh, the role that Black people played in World War II and the establishment of this new world order. Yeah, we also want to talk about the history of the Pan-African movement with, for example, Marcus Garvey and the Black Star Line, the Black to Africa movement, but also the history of Pan-African Congresses with W.E.B. Du Bois yeah. and Kwame Nkrumah and Absolutely. others who organized for African liberation. And within that, we also want to talk about the role that women particularly played in the decolonization struggle. Right, absolutely. The role that women played in the history of our people and the role that they continue to play is key. And we want to make sure to highlight that. Also, we want to make sure that we're highlighting more positive developments and more recent developments that are happening across the African continent. We want to talk about the role that Afrobeats has played in the past few years and the, the growth that it's, it's experienced. We want to talk about the entrepreneurship, the innovation, the creativity that exists in our community and that continues to play a key role in our development as well. So we need to have ownership of our history. And as Marcus Garvey said, people right. without knowledge of their past history, origin and culture is like a tree without roots. Now we are on a mission to awaken the consciousness of the global African community to the urgency of uniting behind a common purpose and understanding that the intrinsic forces that unite us are much greater than the superimposed forces that keep us apart, as Kwame Nkrumah once said. Yeah. So the idea is that we can be united without necessarily being uniform. We hope to bridge generational, cultural and linguistic barriers that exist within the global African community in an effort to foster understanding as well as unity. As the great Thomas Sankara once said, Osons inventer l'avenir, we must dare to invent the future. So Abdel, I'm gonna let you tell the people, how are we gonna do this? Of course, so guys, make sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. Yeah. We'll be curating and producing a whole range of diverse content. Our podcast will be released on YouTube, on Spotify, and on all other podcasting platforms as well. And this will be a virtual video-based podcast featuring interviews with outstanding individuals Absolutely. from a wide range of backgrounds and from all over the world. Yeah, we're gonna be having one to two hour interviews where we can really get into the heart of some incredibly complex issues and to bring you guys the best quality information possible. Et puis tout ça, on va faire ça de manière bilingue. Donc ça. logistiquement parlant, on sait que là, on a fait la vidéo en anglais. Mais quand on va faire les entrevues, on va les faire aussi avec des francophones. Exactement. Et quand on fait des entrevues en français, on aura les sous-titres en anglais ça. et vice versa. Et écoutez les gars, ça c'est le projet Umoja. C'est pas que Project Umoja, c'est le projet Umoja. C'est pour les anglophones, les francophones, c'est pour tout le monde. On a vraiment hâte d'être avec vous et de créer ce cette communauté Umoja and to really see where we can go with it. So, uh, écoutez les gars, we're excited. Yeah. We're really looking forward to seeing you guys. Et uh, make sure to tune in. Yes. Voilà. <laughs> C'est bon, bon déjà. Ouais, 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 Ça, c'était ouais, très, très bon. Ouais, ouais, ouais. <laughs> Ça, c'était très, très bon. Ouais. On était très à l'aise. Monte! Je ne vois pas pourquoi nous ne cherchons pas ce qui nous unit au lieu de chercher ce qui nous divise. A lutte continue! Fight is needed. Together.